Being a responsible content creator means never using a work produced by someone else without their permission. Fortunately, many creative works come with Creative Commons licenses and other information that will help you quickly determine how to obtain permission. In this module, you will learn how to identify and interpret Creative Commons licenses, discover collections of resources that will make finding works that provide permission for reuse easier, learn best practices for providing attribution, and how to create a Creative Commons license for your own creative works. This module is designed to provide hands-on experience finding, adding, and citing creative works into your portfolio. There are six segments, including the introduction. Each provides instructional materials in the form of slides, video, images, and text. At the end of each segment, there's an activity to complete. All the activities focus on enhancing one of the posts you are developing for your portfolio with images available to be reused through a Creative Commons license, images you create and license yourself, and hyperlinks or references to outside content that will provide supportive content to your ideas. Upon completion of all the activities, you will submit a copy of your post for review. There are many misconceptions about copyright that might make you think that you do not need to ask for permission. Many people believe that a creative work is free to use without permission if the use is for non-commercial or educational purposes, such as your portfolio, or a copyright notice is not included. People also think it's fair to use a creative work if you limit yourself to just 10%. What if you credit the creator and list the copyright information without asking for permission? No, all of these are situations when you need to consult the terms of use or conduct a fair use analysis before reproducing a creative work. The biggest misconception is that only individuals and organizations with big web presence are likely to be noticed or sued. Even at Agnes Scott, professors, staff, and students have received requests for payment uh, from copyright holders for misuse of their work. There's a lot of tools that make it easy for copyright holders to monitor the use of their work and identify violations. You are almost ready to get started. We just wanted to let you know that we frequently use the phrase creative works to reference images, audio files, and video files. Also, since you are about to go out into the working world as professionals, we hope this module will present some best practices for using creative works outside of a classroom setting. If you run into any problems, schedule a research appointment with a librarian. McCain Library is here to help.